जय हिंद एवरी वन जय हिंद सर जय एंड इज इट शौर्य यस सर ओके शौर्य यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनडीए सीडीएस सर आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनडीए ओके ओके यू आर नाउ बेस्ड लोकेटेड वेयर व्हाट सर यू आर नाउ लोकेटेड वेयर सर आई एम इन रुड़की हरिद्वार ओके ओके सो यू विल बी पार्टिसिपेटिंग टुडे यस सर ओके गुड सो हु इज द फर्स्ट वॉलंटियर लेक्चरेट व्हाट वी वी आर डूइंग you are coming with a prepared topic you are trying to express yourself you are developing confidence whether you can speak organize your thoughts your confidence level the communication skill and it is a brief a very small exercise yet powerful step towards your success of building your personality your communication skill your thought process you are hearing others also and the general knowledge building up because you hear lot of topics different topics so who is the first one volunteer today sir may i start okay rugved ajay keep time we will start with rugved okay sir you can start now rugved jai hind everyone my name is rugved desh kulkarni today i am going to talk on the topic is india really independent this 15th of august india marked its 78th anniversary of being independent from the colonial rule and undoubtedly india has emerged from a very poor condition to a better condition now competing in the global domain and pro- proving its importance in international sphere india has grown in defense sector we have reached on mars moon and also we are the third largest economy in the world also the most populous country and employment rate has been decreased literacy rate has increased fair enough to make india an emerging superpower but this is just a one side of a coin we are unaware of its other side despite so many years there are some things that we will still need freedom from and i am not talking about poverty hunger corruption we have been studying this chapter for so long that even the books is in bad shape now first is fake news and online frauds according to studies about 77.4% of the indian population are victims of the online frauds and fake news nowadays due to the strong connectivity of social media and people any news and video are being viraled within fraction of seconds no matter what the subject is maybe it's election votes the attack in pulwama or the citizen amendment act or ram mandir in up or even the cure for covid 19 you will get fake news on every subject no matter which variety you ask for second is freedom for girls we say in india now women are competing with men shoulder to shoulder in every field but are we sure they are safe nowadays women are raped like it's game for from the girl of 6 months to the lady of 60 years old where do the rapist gets this power to cause a crime unfearfully is the poor administration administration by government and poor law which punishes these people also there is huge contribution of social media we see that people are connected with social media like they are they can't be uh, away from that and kind of cringe things it shows the intimacy the sexual aspirations and normalizing the things affects the mind of the people and encourage them to rape because they find pleasure and they think it's normal that is why india is ranked first in the world for unsafest place for women and this is a kind of shame for us in the world now where cigarettes and alcohol is sold without any restriction openly and when a girl goes to buy sanitary pads it is covered in paper and a black polythene and is kept secret also this is a concerning thing we should uh, think about today we are spending most of the part of our budget on our defense to protect our borders but what about the internal security of the population so to make india a truly independent nation we need to strongly emphasize on this topics which are very crucial in order to make india a truly a superpower thank you okay good rugved topic uh, taken is interesting is india really independent this is a very tricky question because when we live on our nation we witness so many things which requires immediate attention india is just 75 year old as a as a nation it is the most diverse nation probably on earth 
in all respects and still maintaining unity and that is why we are proud of our nation of course there are problems the problems are of social nature economic nature socio economic things are part of development the third one is political and that is why this phrase comes socio economic political and then technology and all those things but the socio economic things will change as the society gets developed the political angle is very important because we are the most important democratic country in the world now because if our country fails democratically the trust in democracy will get questionable because our nation is symbolic that if our nation can become a powerful democracy that means democracy can work and if we fail it will really create problems in the world and the uh, message to the other developing nations will be a big question mark when on one hand we have a lot of issues what rugved was highlighting these are curable they can be handled provided there is a will law and order is there constitution is there how it is being implemented is a bigger question for example to make it more simple is really india short of water no india is not short of water india is not able to manage the available water similarly is really india independent yes india is independent powerful democracy but when it comes to the ground there are some loopholes there are some shortcomings there are some things where our own people are failing to implement the best of the democratic values we are not able to give justice to the rural india especially on one hand we talk about beti padhao beti bachao on the other hand there are issues and they are of grave nature on one hand we are giving so much of importance to the education still the education is not the way it is supposed to be on one hand we have so many bright minds shining every year coming to the light at the world level on the other hand there are so many grave problems in our education system itself so many things are there there is a disbalance dichotomy can we come out of that yes when there will be a political will when there will be correct use of law and order when there will be correct use of policies and the discipline which is more of self discipline when the every citizen in free india we are free but we are as of now talking more of rights than duties when the shift focuses towards the duties maybe our nation will be looking more powerful so rugved the uh, your content was good the points were really good uh, i hope you spoke spontaneous after studying your topic or was it some reference no sir uh, it's i have practiced okay good uh, the flow of delivery is also good the language used is good and uh, make it more positive you can raise the questions but when you are standing in ssb support the positive cause support the mother nations uh, development okay okay sir okay good now jay ready yes sir i am ready okay rubit keep time okay sir if possible those who can make camera on it is always a good practice you can start doing it be in a comfortable position where your camera is facing you there is no background noise and uh, that practice will also give you extra age of confidence okay are you ready yes you can start okay uh, jai hind and good evening to one and all present here today's my lecture topic is rape cases in india in india rape is an heinous crime and the violence of persons bodily autonomy and trust india has been the grappling with the rises number of rape cases which is in a matter a great concern rape is a serious violation of human rights and uh, brutal crimes in india in our india that affects the victims physically and mentally welming india has been witnessing and rising trend in rape cases which is matter in great concern 
and uh, rape cases is a uh, non consensual sexual intercourse without the servants cons- cons- uh, contestants in in, uh, in india about uh, 31677 uh, near about uh, cases are reported in yearly and uh, 86 daily cases are reported rape case uh, rape uh, cases causes in india lack of uh, education and poor law enforcement and effect of physical and emotional uh, emotionals and social stigma in rape cases major strains law and uh, improving police uh, police responsibilities and increasing awareness by analyzing uh, by analysis we are uh, socially attitudes towards women and genders and roles are contributed to rape uh, cultures lack of education and awareness about sexual violence we have to improve strength of uh, strength of laws and uh, punishments of that uh, nominance and uh, improving police response and uh, investigation systems encouraging uh, victims to the report cases uh, in police station and lastly i conclude that uh, rape cases is serious issue in uh, our india that a uh, number of cases are reported in india immediate attentions and actions we need to work together and create a safe and respectful persons and so societies for all and uh, think about that our india uh, india get independence but our women and girls are really independent think about that thank you okay good jay <clears throat> uh, very interesting linked up topic with the previous one like uh, rugved came up with the topic is really india independent and now this is a specific thing regarding women women safety and the standard of uh, women empowerment social security and uh, the dignity of uh, women folk uh, on one hand when we see india is such a great country with a very very rich heritage and value system but today uh, when the cases of some kind of uh, especially against women gets highlighted and off late it has been uh, on rise but there is a minor aspect in this maybe today social media the overall print media is much more vibrant alive and alert so the question is whether it was happening earlier also but was not getting reported whether it is happening now and getting reported so these two things because in statistics also if you see in the urban india more cases are reported so is it logical to say the media is more active in urban areas and that's why it is getting picked up and reported even the hesitant aspect of uh, society the shyness the honor and dignity the conservativeness of rural india fails to report social media plus the other aspects of rural india may be failing to report so so many cases must be happening at times the victim itself is not ready to report so i deliberately highlighted this aspect because as and when we are developing things are getting highlighted because people are becoming more bold to report this is also one aspect but now coming to the uh, root cause why it is happening maybe on one side we are technologically getting advanced on the other side we are degraded as far as the value system the culture uh, goes it is going down so how to bring that balance can we really impart that education right from beginning in a true sense by merely making policies by merely making your books uh, filled with lot of contents and motivating videos and giving that lectures maybe it will not help too much so it starts with family it starts with the root thing that is your parents thereafter the guardians relative circle friend circle school system college system and then the policies of government how they are monitoring then the judicial system how deterrent the laws are there in singapore nobody throws garbage here and there because the fine the legal system the actionable aspects are very strong nobody is nobody can really fool the system nobody can escape the laws prevalent there so maybe that is one aspect we can to re- we really want to strengthen 
here the fear of law is not there maybe population is more obviously cases will be more but once the fear of law gets established such things will not happen because in 2012 uh, saddest chapter in recent history against uh, uh, women folk that is nirbhaya case which was really shameful to have such kind of case and thereafter now it is again a kolkata case or even in uh, maharashtra badlapur case these all are heinous crimes these are not at all justified why it should happen and it raises lot of questions on our entire nations standing as a democratic nation where the rights are talk on uh, talk more and uh, uh, we are not able to safeguard our kids children the students the elders ones the uh, girls and ladies so then it's a big question mark maybe we the time has come to talk more on it to bring more laws but after all it will boil down to the implementation part the following part there may be traffic signals there may be laws but after all how we take it in positive stride that is a big question so maybe awareness education continuous uh, value education system uh, talking maybe these things will help us and once we get educated in a real sense these crimes can stop but as of now yes jay was bringing correct issues it is really alarming and shameful especially in our case it happens in every country but in our case where we take lot of pride in our great heritage we are the land of sri ram and sri krishna and gautam buddha and the chatrapati shivaji maharaj dr baba saheb ambedkar so if there are so many great people in our uh, history who propagated the value system the greatness of our country today the youth the people in general we all are not be fitting the standards which are expected from us as a big nation great nation so it time has come to be more bold on this demand better laws strict actions quicker actions fast actions okay jay a much better uh, lecture today uh, time wise i don't know whether uh, the warning was given or not rukwed how much time he has covered for 2 minute 10 seconds okay just watch out this aspect also jay yes sir okay good shaurya shaurya you want to go ahead rai las kadambari from the nda batch rigms okay kadambari you come ahead if shaurya is ready can speak yes sir uh, time can be maintained by okay <coughs> jay keep time okay sir Can I start? Yes, you can start now. Uh, Jai Hind, everyone. Myself, Kadambari Kundai from Class 11A, is here to represent today's lecture on topic lessons to be learned from the world. As we know, there are many topics, many uh, topics which are going on in the current world. But I will talk about all, but there are some. Firstly, Bangladesh, the, uh, the political movement, and 2024 Paris Olympics in that failure of the British government. We won't call it as a failure. It's a many things through a failure. Uh, so, as we know, since many years, the prime minister of uh, Bangladesh was a lady named as Sheikh Hasina, and everyone there felt that her ruling was going to turn into dictatorship. On this, national conference leaders Farooq Abdullah said that the ongoing situation in Bangladesh is a lesson for every dictator. And added that there comes a time where people lose their patience, which we could witness in Bangladesh. We know that there are many internal crises in Bangladesh. Uh, they do not have uh, economical stability. <coughs> the 85 percent of GDP depends on textile. So there was an inner voice in everyone, which came out to school students. Uh, they started a movement which no one could handle, neither the army nor anyone else. We get to get to know the lesson that. The change is really very important. Otherwise, it gets harmful for everyone around us. The second uh, was uh, 2024 Olympics and that failure of Rajesh Kumar. As I told earlier, it, from her failure we could learn many things. Her hard work, her dedication towards her goal tells us that there is no shortcut for achieving a success. We have to go through everything. We have to put a constant effort to achieve our goal. 
But if you still felt the setback, she had felt a very hard daily setback. She had moved on from such a base girl who had who was playing since childhood had lost a match by the Vinesh. But Vinesh still felt the hard daily setback by getting disqualified on the day of the match for being overweight. This was a really very hard thing for her, but she still faced it very bravely. We get to we get to listen that uh, patients are not okay, but we have to accept it and step into step stepping stone towards our success. The most important. Last thirty seconds. The most important uh, is the right time, right decision. The at after her disqualification, she immediately announced her retirement. Which tells us that we have to accept our flaws, and after some point, we have to, to, to take some tough decisions on the time. So what that what she did. Um. So uh, as a conclusion, I would like to say that both the villains in both the cases face their face the failure and face the uh, face the failure very bravely. So we should learn the lessons from them. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Kadambari, you touched upon a topic which we will be seeing in detail in coming sessions. Bangladesh episode completely we will discuss. But lessons to be learned from Bangladesh, it's a very big topic actually. But yes, a couple of points you picked up. Bangladesh was a role model nation just a few days back. A developing nation, growing fastest economy, and uh, GDP was handsome. The growth was too good, and it is probably the only Muslim country which is giving positive vibes in the world that it is surviving as a good nation, democratic nation. But then, all of a sudden, such a thing has happened. If you see, uh, no democracy can take it. If we touch upon only lessons to be learned, what Kadambari was highlighting: decision making, understanding the undercurrents, understanding the nature of protests, how things can go out of hand. Then, just January we witnessed election and a full majority government comes. There were some allegations whether it was rigged or what, but you cannot take granted in even if you are powerful government. Powerful in the sense, full majority government. So this is also an aspect, a new chapter in democratic setup, where elected government can be toppled within no time. Toppled to that extent that the sitting prime minister has to seek shelter from the other neighbouring nation. This is an alarming thing. We will discuss in detail uh, in the coming days about this entire thing. Kadambari, you spoke well. Uh, points were good, and the delivery pattern it will improve as more and more practice happens. Uh, this issue requires a lot of deliberation because uh, there are so many now conspiracy theories coming up. Whether it was internal crisis, whether it was a plant crisis, whether it was a blueprint from outside, a lot of things are there. We will not go into those uh, uh, lot of hearsay, but we will go analytical on this. What is to be learned by a nation like us? Because for us, it is very important. It is our geographic neighbor, a good country, good partner. A lot of agreements were happening, a lot of collaborations were happening. Uh, we trust them; they trust us, and suddenly this thing has happened. And the implications are very high for us because in our east, things are not okay. Myanmar is in turmoil. Manipur is in uh, bad shape. A lot of internal crisis is happening, and suddenly Bangladesh chapter has opened up. And it is creating a lot of issues for future, and that's why we are discussing it. Okay, good, Kadam. Confidence is good. Okay, Shaurya, you want to speak? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, time, I will ask uh, Rukhvet. You can keep time. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yes. You can start. Good morning to one and all present here. Uh, today I want to talk about how media influences our lives. Media includes everything from newspapers, television to social media and online news. Its impact 
on us is huge and can be seen in many ways firstly media shapes our opinions for example the news we uh, watch or read often highlight certain events or issues which can affect how we think about them if a news channel frequently reports uh, on a particular topic it might make us more aware or concerned about it media coverage can be uh, can even influence elections by uh, taking the public opinions from the uh, from the public secondly media affects and uh, media affects our behaviors and attitudes the ads we see promote uh, products and lifestyles which can influence that we buy and how we live television shows and uh, movies often portray different ways of life and uh, social norms which can impact our views on things like gender roles or uh, relationships social media uh, adds another layer of influence uh, platforms like facebook instagram and twitter let people uh, share their own thoughts and experience instantly influencers and celebrities on uh, social media can set trends and shape opinions by sharing the personal views and lifestyles this real time interaction uh, means that information is spread quickly and uh, social media can uh, amplify movement and ideas sometimes leading to significant social changes however there are uh, many challenges uh, with indian uh, media influence misinformation and fake news can spread easily online uh, leading to the confusion and misunderstandings sensational stories designed to attract attention can uh, distort facts and uh, make events seem more dramatic than they are media buyers can, uh, where certain uh, uh, view points are favored over others can also affect how information is presented and perceived to handle media influence uh, to handle media influence wisely media literacy is important thank you good sharya <clears throat> sharya you spoke first time on this platform isn't it uh, yes sir okay what is your background you are now in haridwar and you are studying in 12 yes sir i am studying in 12 okay you are appearing in coming exam on 1st september uh yes sir you fill up the form you are confident yes sir okay good good all the best you spoke well your preparation seems okay as far as the communication goes uh, i hope you are not read you were prepared on this topic like reading out no, from a paper no no sir i was uh, uh, i matlab uh, you you, were, you are confident that you can give this lecture in ssb isn't it yes sir okay good uh, this is a very common topic there are so many threads in this how media influences our life our entire thing actually and there is difficult to draw a line what is media print media social media electronic media or whatever you want to call everything has surrounded us inside out we are we can't be isolated from now media because you are being watched you are being tracked you are being targeted and that is how future world is looking at us we cannot have privacy we may feel we are private but now here after it is difficult to get that privacy to keep our data safe to keep our activities safe it is difficult here after you see the bangladesh crisis how it is reported you will generate opinion based on that and when you meet a person inside pakistan bangladesh you will get the other side of it maybe you will realize the media is reporting something which is not absolutely correct so this is how things are going to be in future every aspect which is reported in media will have another side which can be reported on another media channel wise you see one channel you get something to hear you see another channel you get maybe a little distorted view and you get confused you read whatsapp you read twitter you read whatever media platform you get confused so how it is moving now it is moving with interest there is now the global village is a small thing now 
you cannot cut off yourself from other countries influence and maybe future wars will be sitting at distance still creating disturbances in other country if russia and ukraine is fighting today is it really the war between two countries may not be there are other countries who are influencing it similarly israel and palestine iran lebanon these all countries really they are they want to involve themselves into the war may not be bangladesh crisis is it really a bangladesh country's crisis or it is a crisis which is created from some other locations with other players playing their part so this is the power of media social media in particular so in future we need to be really a little wise to read to see and develop opinion that's what i can say uh, good shorya this is a very common topic a very interesting topic we need to be updated on this what is happening giving good examples how things get reported there after other side comes and all those things whether it is internal politics or international strategic level things okay good today all the topics were good and this is in line with ssb preparation you must develop your communication skill day by day it improves it will not happen overnight you have to practice and practice is the only solution you must go ahead with positive frame of mind uh, take it as a break uh, every day try and practice one lecture it it is a break for you mental break satisfaction yes i am developing i am gaining knowledge and wherever whenever there is opportunity like this where you can come and present your talent this is presenting talent and judge yourself where do you stand now how much you have come forward because at your level you, you may think i know everything i can speak but once you speak where it is getting recorded it may come on youtube and that fear should be handled well and you are handling it well okay we will end here good keep studying uh, systematically without more tension and be happy take care bye jai hind thank you sir thank you sir